Keenan Shan Holtz here, West Virginia Land and Home Realty at 329 Rocky Woods Road in Wardensville, West Virginia. As you can see here, we have a yurt, a big one. Uh, it's about 700 square foot. And um, here where the yurt is, you can see you have a really nice view from right here. It's a, a very nice building site. And then the little building there is just kind of like a root cellar. And the property here, uh, it's ran off a generator. But right down, old Route 55 is down over the hill this way, and Quarter H is up over the hill that way. And there's electricity right down along um, old 55 that you could pull up here, no problem. But uh, this was kind of meant as kind of like a bug out spot, kind of like a prepper place for the current owner. So they have a cistern, which you're going to see right here. It's a big water tank in the ground, but that's never been hooked up to the house. Um, so they just, you know, carry water inside the yurt there or whatever. And on the other side of the yurt, there's a septic system. Um, it's a one bedroom septic system, you know, installed and inspected by the county and everything. Um, but when I first got the call about this property, my big concern was, well, hey, it's in between two roads. How noisy is it going to be? Well, you know, I've been here a couple times now. And if there's like a big rig or something going by up in quarter eight, you're going to hear it. Um, but aside from that, you basically get no noise off of old Route 55 down there. But it's not nearly as bad as what you would think. Um, like right now, there's a pretty big truck going by up there and I can hear it. But it's not something like where it the noise of the highway deafens you or anything like that. And you cannot see quarter eight from here. Um, this property is comprised of three different lots um, and they're all, uh, you know, roughly 10, 11, 12 acres, 35 acres here total. And the yurt, now I can hear that tractor and trailer right now. They just put like a engine brake on or change gears and I can hear it. But it's really not that bad. Um, but anyways, uh, the yurt's on the middle lot and it's all pretty nice. I mean, the access in here is fantastic. The road's good. You can see my truck parked down there. So there's a good access road all the way through the property, and there is another lot at the end. There's four lots on this little road right here, Rocky Woods Road, and there is a lot at the end of the cul-de-sac back there, which somebody else owns. So they do have a right-of-way up through Rocky Woods Road, one other person, but it's not obtrusive at all. Um, and on some of these lots, like if you go back the road this way a little bit further, that lot out there, you know, you have wintertime views of Lost River uh, when the leaves are off, because Lost River is right down over the hill, and the state of West Virginia owns 35 acres right across the road that Lost River runs through. And you can go down there and use that. I mean, they stock it with trout right there. Um, you know, so basically you can walk or ride your fuller down there and park it along the road where they stalk out and fish. So um, anyways, that's just a really nice perk. And of course, there's tens of thousands of George Washington uh, National Forest acres here within minutes of you. But I'll try not to make anybody ill here. But I'll just uh, bring you inside the yurt. And it has windows, like that's a window right there that you roll up or whatever. And um, they have this wood stove in here that conveys that they never hooked up. Like he pretty much just uses this kerosene heater right here, you know, in the wintertime and whatnot. But it's got a nice kitchen in it, hardwood floors. There's a set of bunks right there. Uh, there's a bathroom, you know, right in here. Um, so I'm assuming you could flush the toilet or whatever, and it goes into the septic, I guess. But, um, and then this little room back here is just kind of like where the breaker box is and all that kind of stuff. And I have seen this thing function, uh, with the generator on, so I know it works. Um, but it, it's, it's probably better than, and bigger than having a camper here, I suppose. Um, but, uh, just a really unique pre uh, piece of property in a really good location. I mean, the access is great. And although you're sandwiched kind of in between two roads, it's it's plenty private enough. Um, and you could be here from DC in an easy two hour drive. I mean, it's pretty much 
good roads the whole way. Uh, but uh, I'll take a video down there at Lost River at the DNR access. But um, you got three lots here, 35 acres, hunt, shoot, fish, build, camp, do whatever you want. Keenan Chan holds here, West Virginia Land and Home Realty. Um, there's a big osprey, if you see him right there flying. I'm standing uh, along the banks of Lost River, uh, just outside of Wardensville, West Virginia. And uh, I'm on a piece of property right now that's 35 acres, roughly, that the West Virginia Department of Natural Resources owns. And uh, what they do here, they stock trout right here. And uh, right up along Old 55, there's a place to park. And you can walk down in here and fish, and I'm assuming you can hunt also. The property does go across the river as well. Um, but the reason why I'm taking this video here is because this property is literally directly across Old 55. Technically, it really, I guess, joins uh, the 329 Rocky Woods Road property, the 35 acres with the yurt on it. So if you buy the property with the yurt, you got 35 acres of your own, and then there's 35 acres that the state owns, basically right across the road from it. So you could walk down here, ride your car down here, bring your side by side of your ATV down here. Now you can't ride the ATV on this property, but you could park it there and come down here and trout fish, you know, put a canoe or a kayak in. Like I said, I'm assuming you could hunt on it if you wanted to go across, uh, there's not much room between here and the road. The majority, I think, of this property is on the other side of the river. But uh, it's just a really nice added bonus uh, to the yurt property. Um, so check it out.